Hey guys, I'm Jeff. I'm Bill. Uh, today we are going to be talking about wedges, keeping the face clean, keeping the grooves clean, and the difference between raw and finished wedges. So let's get started. Hope you enjoy the Match Play podcast. So Bill, what would you say is the span, the lifespan of a wedge in terms of rounds? Uh recreationally about 150 150 rounds on that wedge before it really starts to see noticeable spin reductions flight reductions things like that okay and noticeable spin reductions you're talking about like a couple thousand rpms i mean from a brand new wedge uh you know depending on your attack angle of course some put more spin on it than others but you'll see a pretty a pretty noticeable drop in like stopping power and like pickup in its flight just for the fact that you know we're talking 1500 to 3000 rpms depending on the player oh wow that, that that's a good number of uh rotations wow okay yeah and like, so, an, like an old greasy sandwich with no grooves left on it somebody hits like a buck 15 you know when everything else they hit like their pitching wedge like 100 yards it's because they're hitting little flyers you know, there's nothing yeah. left to actually grab and control that spin. I mean, it's some guys love it, but you know, if you're trying to play, you know, and actually improve and see consistency, it, it's it's got to be you know every couple of seasons, you know, if not every season. Gotcha. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm in the waiting process for getting my new wedges. Uh, when we were talking about my purchase of wedges, we I kind of bounced the question between raw wedges and um, finished wedges. So. What difference do you see in that fitting process, raw, uh, raw finish to a actual finished wedge? Uh, you know, very little. <laughs> um, okay. The best part, and you know, nowadays, you know, we have these manufacturers basically doing raw faces on finished backs. Um, so there's not as much of a difference as there used to be. Um, yeah, in the old day, the whole thing would rust. Exactly. And frankly, if you still like the rust look, and I personally think they provide a little bit more feel since there isn't a coating on them, but mm -hmm. they, without that coating, you know, the lifespan of your wedge goes down significantly. I mean, we're looking to change out every six months if you're a regular player, um, especially a guy like yourself, Jeff, who would play a lot um, mm -hmm. with, you know, and you're just trying to make it, you know, you don't have the ability or a tour van sitting there every week to give you new wedges. It's just not that real. It's just not that realistic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I went with the bras, um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, looking forward to it. I think this might be my second set of raw wedges that I've ever had. Uh, but looking forward to the improved feel uh, around the greens. So, and especially with your type of player, there. you'll find a lot of maneuverability with that raw. You'll cool. you'll get a whole uh, lot of whole lot of extra little. And just saying for you specifically, like the little checkers and stuff like that. That's where you're going to see the improvement mm -hmm. on the wedge. Sweet. Probably not from the middle of the fairway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the consistency there. I feel like from raw to yeah, uh, and it's a couple. It's, it's 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 a couple hundred RPMs, Jeff. It's not yeah. much. Moving off of the raw wedges themselves, when we just talk about a standard wedge across the board, you mentioned flyers before, so let's try and explain what a flyer is to the uh, viewer. If you don't know, uh, it's when you have grass that is getting between the face of your wedge or your iron or club and the ball itself, so it actually causes that ball to knuckle a little bit. Is that right, Bill? Yeah, absolutely. And similar things when we're talking spins on wedges, uh, when it's wet and dewy in the mornings, um, yeah. that water will have a similar effect, can knock the ball out of the air, can cause it to fly a little bit and cause inconsistencies in the wedge. Uh, that's why, you know, there's, these manufacturers are putting out like hydro pearl finishes and stuff to help wick, wick that stuff away to not help it spin more than like a dry day. It's just like its performance is more consistent across the board. Yeah, I will say when I've hit Hydro Pearl wedges, I do have a crazy amount more spin. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if that's just the grooves or the face um, uh, milling that they do with those specific manufacturers. Yeah. But I will say that I definitely get way more spin, which is not a good thing. It's too much spin for me to have on a wedge um, than, let's say, a Vokey. Even Vokey's and even some of the, the TaylorMades uh, and the... The uh, the new Callaway wedges 
give me the right amount of spin that I need. But there's definitely some companies with that hydro pearl finish that are creating crazy amounts of spin. Good for the players that need it. Yeah, and that hydro pearl, like you're saying, just designed to help grip that ball in all weather conditions. So the higher spin rates will be higher in the rain and the flyer stuff. You know, it's just all across the board. It's a, it's a great t- piece of technology that to add to the wedge and uh, just to help everybody play the best and kind of keep consistent yeah. when dealing with Mother Nature, which is not always the easiest thing to do. Yeah, as we just saw at the Masters this last week. Absolutely. Um, yeah, a little wet, a little windy. Scores weren't so low. But moving on from that. So we've talked about wedges. Obviously, one of the most important things to keeping consistency with your wedges and feel as well as spin is cleaning your grooves. There's too many times that I've been on a golf course. Uh, I've caddied a lot in my my career. And I have wiped many of caked faces uh, on wedges and had members and players say, I don't understand why I can't spin a wedge. It's because you have no <laughs> grooves on the face because it's full of dirt. Frankly, they have fresh grooves that just never been hit. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They just need to take a tee and a wet towel to the face and they will find out that they can spin and get a ball to one hop and stop. And then they're like, what's the key to it? That's the key, people. Keeping your grooves clean. <laughs> And that goes across the board, everybody, you know, take them inside, you know, every couple of yeah. rounds, give them a good bath. It only takes yeah, a couple take minutes. Scrub brush. Exactly. Yeah. Um, mine, the, the softer the material for the scrub brush, the better. Um, otherwise you might scratch the face up a bit and that can cause the face to, uh, not last as long because of oxidation and stuff like that. So don't use any, I personally don't use wire, uh, brushes on my clubs because I'm trying to keep them looking pretty as well as keep the grooves and the faces lasting as long as they can. So um, I don't know if you have any opinion on that. Oh, I do. Um, I I, I use the wire brush the entire time, middle of the course, just scraping the crap out of them. Um, (laughs) Frankly, because... Get a little more dirt out. (laughs) Exactly. It's a little easier, especially when you're on the go. But uh, yeah, it's going to take its toll over years. But to me, you know, I not the type of person that cares about how pretty they are. I care about more how they perform. So if the faces are a little scratched, great. They're clean. They're hitting well. And that's what's important. Yeah. That's why I just clean my clubs every single shot I hit because then I don't need to use a brush. Yeah, you got that little squeegee brush on there. You're all about it. Yeah. 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 I haven't used that thing in a while. That's like the, okay, I've neglected my wedges. It's time for a clean. (laughs) Usually it's just a little spit or a little water and a towel and, wipe them off and usually Caddy those life. grooves are clean yeah yeah um so guys super important keep your grooves clean uh mm-hmm. if you're learning about uh wedges themselves and you're trying to debate between a finished wedge and a raw wedge uh consider how often you play and what your finances are like and whether you're willing to buy a new wedge every six months or if you're looking to play 150 rounds with that wedge, because that can be something to take into consideration when purchasing your new wedges. So we're going to sign off from today and hope you guys got some benefit out of our conversation. Uh, and we hope you have a great day. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. See you next time.